It's day four, again, of year of living the warrior's way. Title of today's video, Communication Let Me Down. That's the lyric from a song in the 80s or 90s, don't recall which. But you see, when you don't communicate, when I don't communicate effectively, when I don't get my message across concisely and consistently and with exact clarity, then things fall apart. I'm going to give you some examples so that you can think and ponder on my words. I've been in the wine game for 22 years online and the problem with wine and the problem with communication of said wine is that vintages change and people, customers, clients, get very intense and very wedded to certainty, to what they're used to, to what they like, to the vintage that is their vintage. But unfortunately with wine, it's not a never ending product. The vintage changes. Now, if you don't communicate that vintage change to the customer, as I used to do in the past, I used to just say, ah, fuck it, the vintage has changed. Just send them the latest one, they'll be fine. And in some instances, that lack of communication was fine. And in other instances, it created an immense and enormous backlash. The customer, the client, who was rewarding me with his loyalty and his money would lash out and go ballistic at me. And I'd think, for fuck's sake, it's just a vintage change. What's your problem? But then as time went on, I realized and I recognized that the client is the most important thing. They are always right. And you have to, whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, communicate effectively with them. So what I do now, if a vintage has changed, or if a wine is out of stock, I don't just automatically substitute it. I call the customer, I speak to the customer, I email the customer, I text the customer. This change is happening. I'm very sorry, this is the way it is. There's not much I can do about it. I've made this choice to delist the wine. I've made this choice to take the new vintage. I've made this choice to substitute another wine. Is this okay with you? That communication is the most important thing in a client and a supplier relationship. If you don't fucking communicate, you can expect the wrath of the client. It doesn't happen with all of them. It doesn't mean that you're not acting out of integrity doesn't mean that you are necessarily lying, although it is a sort of a lie of omission. What it means is that you are taking the stance that the client and the customer and their needs, their wants and their desires doesn't really matter. And I don't ever want to be like that. And you shouldn't ever be like that either. Because without your clients, no matter how big or small they are, you won't eat, you won't make money, you won't get paid. And you can say until you're blue in the face, well, it's not about the money. Well, it's about the service. Well, well, it's about, you know, uh, supplying the best product that I can and moving with the times and moving with what happens. But if that client isn't drinking the wine that they want, that client isn't getting what they want, what they bought, then that client is gonna be unhappy. So just ponder today about how, how you communicate with your clients, how you communicate your message to them, exactly what you say or exactly what you don't say, and the trouble that you can get into from a communication breakdown. Because once there's a communication breakdown, that's when you have customer service issues. That's when you have upset customers. That's when you have a breakdown in the client and supplier relationship. I'll leave you with that today. Cheers.